Hello everyone, this is GrayShot17, back again for another COH2 replay on this shitty map. I hate Essence Steelworks. I hate this map with a passion. Alright, the person who sent me this replay, I believe, is Greatness of Great the Pulsor. I'm not even joking. I think this... That would be incredible if this was actually the Pulsor. I don't think it is. But, whatever. That, that's just a funny name in general. I am like, alright, this, this you got me. Okay, um, wow, I'm actually, yeah, I'm looking at rank here, and I am easily seeing that the ax the allies have an advantage over the Axis. Although I do love this guy's name. They don't call me Daddy Smurf. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Um, so we're going to call him Smurf. This guy, uh, Depulsor Tesumugi, and... Yoriko? Whip me gr god damn it. Whip me grandma, Dombrist, RPG got me, and Alberto. We'll call RPG Dom, Whip, and Al and Albert. Oh my god. Of course I get this. Anyway. This is gonna be one of those games. Oh boy. Wow, nice job rushing in the building. Too bad the Stern Pine here is gonna murder you in two seconds flat. Oh, okay, you just changed. Okay, whatever. Wow, they already pick a ton of doctrines. Great. Let's see. We have Mobile Assault Regiment, which is how that would be the Land Mattress. Fine. I'm ca finally calling it the Mattress. You hear me? I'm calling it a Mattress. Even though it sounds incredibly stupid. What are you doing? Are you trying to block the door? Are you really that? You can't block a door. You could try, but it's not going to work. Um, Annihilate Infiltration Commandos, which is good by enemy lines. Uh, Dom with Shock Mortar, Highlight the ICM-52, Long Range Against Infantry and Armor is both great, and along with uh, the Shock Troops, great close range. Alberto went the Heavy Cavalry, Highlight would be Rangers, close range of Pershing, which is great for me uh, medium armor, even some heavy armor on some occasions, and good against all targets. We also have Yoriko, which was Spearhead, great against killing fortifications with the Mortar half track and other emplacements, along with the Tiger Tank. Panther Tactician is also great for getting units away. And Special Operation Doctrine Highlight would be the Panther Command Tank. Highlights and buffs other vehicles in the area. And Infiltration Tactics, which are great for killing um, a lot of emplacements. Um, let's see. Mighty Depulsor, of course, is the person who rushed that building. Very nice. Very nice. Stern Pioneers flanking with an MG here, which is a good combo. Nice for Ken, uh, for Ken, or Vermok unit over here. Um, and again, if you can get in this building and rush over here, that could be a huge detriment for the allies in holding that fuel. Because the allies need to capture that fuel, or this fuel, which it looks like they did capture on the left. But, again, either side it could easily turn, it could change either way. Uh, unfortunately with this map, it things just, like, can sway very quickly just because of all the little ways to get around the base. For example... Dom, so, okay, you didn't go with the normal support weapon Campania. You went with those special rifle commands. You rush a scout car with an engineer. I swear to God, if you get a flamethrower, this is literally my like Company of Heroes 2 back in 1942. It's like, hey, guys, we're going old school. We're going with the f clown car. Jesus Christ, I haven't seen a clown car in so long. No, but we have the Kubel spam right now. That, are you three Kubels? Oh, my God. Look, look, Smurf. I don't know what you're trying to do, but if this guy, th this guy is literally going to destroy you. This uh, a first off, Vickers annihilates, and B conscripts again, just overwhelming. This is why you don't Kubel spam. This is a great example of why you don't Kubel spam. Need I say more? Especially if this thing gets an upgrade, and there we go, armor piercing rounds, not armor piercing, sorry, better penetration, this thing's dead. So again, the enemy team has one British, two Soviet, and an American versus two Vermont and two OKW. Get annihilated. Kill it. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, you're so lucky. Nice idea for a mine. I like that idea. Put it right behind so that if they run up, they'll instantly die that's actually really smart i'd like that a lot all right so you have the half track bonuses uh panzer strike upgrades pretty good i feel like that that's something the pulsar would get but yeah that's a good idea get the um it get it a lot quicker wait is there some 
<laughs> nice mine. Oh, I love mines. I do. I really, really do. Um, slowly being pushed back by nothing? A Royal Engineer's good close range. I guess he's going to take this territory. And grab the Vickers back, I assume. That was left over here. Sure, why not? Allie's making another push. The MG's kind of holding the back until this unit goes around and starts shooting in the back. Yeah. Nice. Okay, get in the building. That'll make it harder. Nice smoke. Again, one of the highlights of Alberto's doctrine is the fact you can drop off-map smoke for 50 munitions. Really great at getting around MGs. Really, really great. Um, why would you get a sniper in this building? I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't need to know. Just don't. Your unit's going to die. That was a terrible move. This, wow, you deserve that. You honestly do. Nice rifle grenade. Oh, wow. No, actually, no. Terrible. Did nothing. Well, again, very nice job with the stern, stern Pioneers. Just annihilating them as they run out of the building. Oh. Can they really? I, I've i never... Can they seriously not get in here? I swear I thought this doesn't work. Relic made sure that you can't block off a building. If you can, that's great. But I've just never really seen that work. But at the bare minimum, it's forcing them to retreat this way, and every time they retreat this way, they lose a bunch of men. So, oof. Good move, I think. Good move. Let's see. On the left side, we allies retaking the fuel, and looks like pushing a lot more. Could be a big issue over here if the allies get a foothold. No one's going for this munitions point. God dang it, grab through that munitions point. Um... Yeah, I, I, I don't under... I just don't... I, I don't get why people don't go for some territory. Because right now, every second you're not getting that is another second you're not getting those resources. Nice mine. I love this game already. This this game is like, hey guys, we're going to use mines. Thank you. Oh my god. It's been a while since I've really seen a good mine placement. Because honestly, a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't use mines. And I find it so annoying. Because mines are so good. Don't get me wrong. Minesweeper. Thank you. Just annihilating those shock troops. Th this guy be like, I hate you. I hate your minds. RPG picked a shock rifle. Highlight would be the incendiary artillery. Great for killing units and buildings. They're not moving. Or pretty much at HQs. IS-2 is pretty good for pretty much all around heavy tank. It is being buffed, I think. Um, so we shall see about that. We have a clown car moving through. Please hit a mine and just blow up. Please. 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 Oh, please. Please, 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 do it. Just do it. Come over here. Just, just, ah, oh, dang it. Again, always put it in the direction that the enemy will most likely come towards you. Uh, yeah, the rifle blob coming in, most likely going to push him back. What is the greatness of the great, of the amazing, of the magnificent Depulsor going to do? Wow, nice flame half track. Very good, just burning infantry in there. Very cool. All right. I mean, it's doing okay. There was a rifle grenade. It looks like it hit it. Um, I'm assuming from the the one-star rifleman threw it. Stern Pioneers rushing in, doing a little bit, but, wow, Mortar almost killing it. Um, yeah, right now, these two allies, I would say probably this Soviet ally needs to push in mid, and this British ally needs to really focus and just keep pushing through here. I also find it really funny as a Royal Engineer, and he doesn't go with the hazard removal gear. I don't understand that. I don't. You know he has enough mines. You have the... U it's different when you don't have a mine sweeper unit. It's like, okay, he doesn't have the capability to tech mines. I get it. But when people do, I find it really weird when they continually get hit by mines. It's like GTA. GTA will never get a mine sweeper unit. And he's adamantly stated this. But I love, love the fact that he will consistently complain about being hit by mines. And it's just like, oh, I love hypocrisy at its finest moment. It's 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 like the child who it's like they it's like you tell them not to do the stupid thing and they do the stupid thing and you tell them not to do it and you told them you should not have done it and they do it again and it's like they keep whining and complaining it's like you keep doing this like you, you keep doing it don't be wrong I did all sorts of stupid stuff when I was a kid but to be fair it's like when eventually when I grew up I I, I it's, it's funny because it's like when I grew up, I eventually turned to the, the kid who was too mature 
honestly, and I'm still kind of like that, where I'm incredibly nice, and I'm, even though it's like in these replays, I kind of do sound like a dick now and again, and I wasn't really a person out to get people, per se, or like negatively affect them and stuff like that. Um, nice mine. Oh, both sides are using mines. I love this. Um, wow, R Rangers do not lead the way. They're getting annihilated by Stern Pioneers. You need to upgrade them to make them good close range, gentlemen. You need to upgrade them. Just saying. With Thompsons. Lots of Thompsons. But until then, not that much. Like, not as effective. It's just like paratroopers. You can give them Thompsons, but until they get Thompsons, they're just okay. They just have good guns. SU-76 providing some support of fire in mid. It looks like the British player is also pushing in mid. Yeah, it seems like he's pretty much dominating. Um, Smurf, who should probably not put his building so close. And uh, who, what's this red guy's name? Yuriko. Yeah, Yuriko is pretty much getting pushed. So, honestly, they need to do something different to really change up this uh, fight. I would love it if you went the Elite Armor Doctrine. Please, please go the Elite Armor Doctrine. That would make my day. Oh, we do have some Elbow Sedan with upgraded STG-44s. That's pretty cool. I like the STG-44s a lot. Because, again, they're really good. They're, again, just very good at pretty much all ranges. Also, I think I know why he placed these here. If I can go into a little bit more... It Analysis. He put it here because the fence Wackler is in need of buffer. Anytime a shot will come through this fence, it has a high chance of hitting the fence and not hitting the unit. I think that's why he put these two things here. Because, again, there's multiple. I think he'll make an opening here or something. So that way he can easily come through and actually have really good cover for his buildings. I can see why he did that. I mean, I do objectify the fact they're so close. I feel like you can easily move one down here. But I do like how they're all close together. I, I mean, not close together. Close to the fence. Um... The Soviet players on the offensive using that half track he's put so much resources in to, uh, you know, upgrade and make sure he buffed up. Now, this thing will murder the, this other half track. It will destroy it. The flame was good against the infantry, but oh my god. Yeah. Really have to watch out. MG Bunker doing a pretty good job holding back the shock troops and other things. SU 76 can move up and do a lot of damage, but again, if as long as he has an AT gun, which he does, hit it. Come on, great the Pulsar. Do what the guy in my last replay failed to do and use it for Ken Werfer. Use it for good. Nice hit. Come on, kill it. Kill it before it kills your bunker. One more hit. No! Oh, good kill. And the quad's like moving up like, I'm sorry, you were saying something? Quad's also chasing this, which I feel is a bad move. For Ken Werfer trying to turn. Nice Panzer Strike shot. This is suppressed, but it's still turning, and it can still shoot. It has a very low accuracy when it is suppressed, but hey, if it hits, it hits. Come on, hit. Fire. Oh, so close. We have a Sherman pushing in. The, the greatness of the great of the almighty of the great of the magnificent of the spectacular the great the Pulsar um, is unfortunately being pushed back, and he really needs to change up his strategy and try to... I mean, okay, you know what? Actually, never mind. Panther, Panther's a good strategy. Panther is a great strategy. Just do that. Um, so, let's see. I upgraded infantry in mid with a Panzer IV. Pretty good. Should be able to hold back. Even with even these commandos, again, I, they're good close range. And I mean, the, the Bren will make them a little bit better. Wow, nice. Well, Sherman just annihilating all those great, uh, all those poor great ears. Just like easily just sweeping them aside. He has a stug, really. Alright, whatever. Get yourself a stug. Panzer IV being pushed back by the amount of AT forces. He's probably going to lose it. Probably not going to go very well. Oh, so that turn, that epic turn saved him. I mean, if that if Pathfinding would have behaved like it normally does CH2, he probably would have lost that unit. But very lucky. Now, also, Don, this is your ultimate moment. This is your moment of truth. Do this right, and you will win the game. You've done it right. Congratulations. Ooh. Nice grenade. Should have done a little bit more, in my opinion. But, hey, did a lot of damage. And really has a rifle grenade. That should have murdered all of them. Whatever. You're pushing him back. Headquarters pushing him back. That should... Yeah, there we go. 
Easily GGing it. Pushing it back. Easily winning. Nice hit. <laughs> just just nice hit. That's pretty much all I can say. Just good good hit. Good hit. Get, oh my god, here come the I get you can say he's upgrading. I do like he wait, MG34. Why the game freeze? Okay. Um Fires on the move. Alright. Ooh, that was a good hit. Fire coming down, pushing back. I do feel like, okay, he's going with the Obel Sadatan kind of route. And I feel like that could be a good thing because it's great against infantry pretty much all of our guards. Bad because it's very costly. We do have a Panther. Why you think, why you keep this unit here, I don't understand. He will die. It will die. And now this half track is running for its poor, miserable life. Like, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Run, 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 run. It's right behind us. It's right behind us. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Come on. We... Oh, my God. We made it. Oh, my God. Also, this thing is still technically a unit, so it can easily be killed. And I don't think it's... I don't even think it fired once. Okay, if I, maybe it did. It was a barely a new... Oh, no. I think it's actually getting right because it's being shot at. Anyway, as you can see here, it's a unit that can be killed and easily destroyed. Very nice job killing the ambulance. A very nice job. The greaty, the greatness of the great of the almighty Depulsor did a very good job of killing this unit and uh, neutralizing it. Unfortunately, the armored car did use a t target tread, which kind of slowed it down for a time being. Probably some AT grenades are going to be thrown at it. Or not. I guess he didn't have time for that. Um, you're retreating back to here for some reason. I don't know. I, okay, you reman the ambulance. I'm assuming you're going to heal it as well. So it looks like the axes are in the are, Well, except for this red guy who... Who is this? Yuriko? You're kind of sucking with the grenadiers, but whatever. Um, even the stug. My god. Um, but anyway, nice job with the panther. Panzer four kind of back up trying to push back some of this rifleman, which, again, has a lot of AT and actually just good all-around support weapons. Nice shot, Panzer four again. Very good against infantry. Holding it back, pushing pushing right through that barricade, and wow, another Panzer IV coming up, and this is pretty much GG for the infantry. There's too much eight, there's too much tank fire coming in. They need something else, and they just don't have the equipment necessarily to kill two of these tanks. They they need to fall back now before they die. Um, this guy is on the right side. He does have an op. <sighs> you have an off swing, really? That is what you're gonna use. Okay, first off, he went festing armor, highlight pack 43, great. Rail artillery, great for killing fortifications, and command, uh, and also the command tank, great for just boosting armor. Greatness of the Great Depulsor, you have failed me. I wanted Storm Tiger gameplay, but that's fine, whatever. You gave me Yag Tiger, I guess I will take that, I guess, whatever. Yag Tiger, really, really good at just demolishing armor at pretty much any regard. And these Storm Officer, great for buffing infantry. And Paul Pinch Full Sleer is great for just annihilating other infantry units. We shall see how these Oswins will do. I feel like they are probably going to die very quickly. Anyway, SU-85 and an SU-76 coming around the corner. Looks like they're trying to reinforce this territory. Stug trying to move up, but again with these two eight infantry units i like how he's moving it i think he's moving this one around no he just sucks at moving okay i thought he was gonna do something smart when he moves this one around and that way he can hit from two times and wait for you know both of them to fire at once and then no he just fires this and then haphazardly just comes around the corner panther coming in the side i don't know what it's oh okay maybe he's trying to target the ambulance no it's just targeting the fuel cache all right and the oswins are moving in not bad i feel like this who was this guy's name again? I'm sorry. Dom. Dom, do you have any... Dom, you need some type of AT. Th this American guy cannot win if you don't have AT. And now, these Oswins are just, like, annihilating this infantry. Again, they're very good at killing infantry. So, And also planes. Lots of planes. Armored car doing a very good job with what it can against the Panther. But again, still versing a Panther. Wow, very lucky the, the truck took the hit. Uh, but, wow, I'm actually surprised the armor card did that much against the Panther. That's actually pretty good. 
pretty good. Now, this American player is doing everything he can. I feel like, unfortunately, he's just being wrecked. Right now, there are three players on this side. He needs some support of some type. Wow, we have a... Okay, now you have a command tank boosting all these units around it, which makes him even deadlier. Nice Katusha hit, put, hitting the Obosodaten and causing a lot of damage. So, oh, sorry, no, no, I'm sorry, not Katusha, sorry. It's the um, whip getting the awesome uh, mattress out and just using it. It will still always in my heart be the Mantis. AT got moving up, getting some nice hits, but the allies really need some AT. The, the lack of AT is really biting them right now. And I like how the Panzer IV is like, Hey, Mantis, you know how you shot my Oval Sedan? Yeah, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> this guy has no... He has the upgrade for it, but he's not getting brands, which I find incredibly frustrating. Uh, or Piats. Piats actually are more frustrating. Um, if this thing would use the target treads... Oh my god, it's this thing's so dead. This thing's incredibly dead. Oh my god, never mind. So this thing didn't move. Why didn't you move it? Oh my god. Okay, out of control. Very lucky that AT gun was able to turn fast enough and kill it. SU-85 getting some nice hits, but uh, at least pushing back the Panther. AT gun bounce. The Allies are in a pickle. They have. Wow. Okay, and this guy, even though he's failed so many times beforehand, his units keep coming back. He's like that. Really, really. Hold on. Hold on. What? Oh, incendiary. Okay, I'm like, I saw that. I'm like, wait a second. I just saw the railway. Did he really just use railway? Where in God's name is that coming? Right over here? Why? There's nothing over here. Maybe there was something. I don't know. Who knows? Panther Army moving through from the mighty, the great, the almighty, the amazing, the spectacular, the wonderful Great Depulsor. Um, unfortunately, again, infantry technically would have the advantage, but the problem is they just don't have enough AT forces, so yeah. And now the mop-up crew is coming in, aka the Obel Sodaten, which looks like took some losses, but uh, yeah, it, luckily, again, even with an AT grenade and stuff like that, they're just not doing enough. They need a, like, they need a Pershing. All right, that will do. That'll do. That will do. Um, also, very nice job. The Mantis coming in. Mattress. Whatever. The artillery coming in. Just annihilating all of this guy's grenadiers. This thing is such a wide area of effect that it is pretty epic. I do like this unit a lot. I do find it weird that apparently they're buffing it to 8. But whatever. As long as they keep it at the same effect in this, I don't mind. It has its own shortcomings. It has short range. Whatever. Man, I like this this guy's little armored car is holding back Panthers, Panzers, and Stugs. Oh my. Nice job with AT. Again, using its armored car and whatnot to keep hurting it. Nice job. It's immobilized right now, so you can keep firing. Really? The Oswin spam? Oh, you're really using Oswin spam right now. Alright, can't wait to see how this works. Why are you retreating with an SUV? Keep fighting! It's a bunch of Oswins. It's not going to hurt. Wow, nice. You crippled its engine. Um, a, probably AT grenade. You can literally own this, all of these units. There's enough I mean, infantry fire. It's probably not going about very well, but whatever. You can still hurt them. And you retreated? Why? Why did you retreat from a bunch of Oswins? Anyway, um, we can see here that Smurf has been doing a pretty good job of countering. I, I mean, I don't know. Um... We shall see how things go with the Pershing now in the field, which, by the way, again, we can see here the Pershing looks smaller than the pan than, the, than this, uh, uh, god, Panzer IV, I can't speak today, annihilating that unit without even, ta uh, pretty much, really even having a sweat, anything, um, we do unfortunately have this thing over here, 
causing some havoc, not really much AT. What I'm seeing here is the Allies' lack of substantial AT. Where's the British Firefly? Hold on, British, what do you have? Do you have the Firefly? Yeah, dude, get the Firefly, my god. Wait, let me guess, you got the Comet. You're getting a Comet, aren't you? You have 535 fuel and you don't get a Comet or a Firefly. Y oh my god. No AT, no AT, barely any AT, no, uh, again, doing everything in his power to hit, get AT. Come on, kill the Panther. I mean, don't kill it. To be fair, I want this American either way. This American player, this is what happens when you don't get AT. Also, I feel like we're about to see a lot of di riflemen die right about now. Holy mackerel. A lot of those awesome rounds are just bouncing, not even hurting it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, my god. Ooh. Yag putting the final nail in that coffin. The almighty, the magnificent, the spectacular, the, the omnificent. The holy god himself free to pulse are doing a great job of just denying that unit i love how you move the stug up and it's like oh i got it and then the yag tiger fires and just annihilates it not even in range um has this british guy built anything yet good he got himself a comet he really needs a firefly firefly would be amazing right now with the upgrade um dom what do you have a mixture of everything Stop placing place mines. You have enough munitions. You can place a lot of mines. Um, RPG mixed. I feel like you should probably save it for an IS2. This guy is probably going to give himself another Pershing. He has enough resources for it, so honestly, he probably will get it. This guy is almost a dot in force. Man, he went from doing well to just. Eesh. Yikes. And then this guy. And then, like, of course, you have the Grandier buddy, which, again, ton of resources. Could get himself a tiger, but he won't for some reason. Not entirely sure. What was that? Oh, okay. We have this thing. We have the railway coming in. Oswin's coming in. Again, the fact none of these Oswins have... He's getting more Oswins. My god. I've never seen so many Oswins. Just use five... Wow, did they really just die that quickly? Get AT. Keep firing. Do something. Oh, the Yag killed it. That's what happened. The Yag sniped it. Poor man. Katusha coming in and doing some nice rounds. So what do the Allies need to do? The Allies need to focus on getting some better AT forces. Because they're killing the infantry quite well. They just need to focus on AT. We have Star Artillery coming down here. Just kind of pushing them back. They're not really doing anything major. It's not really hitting it. It hasn't done it too much damage. You're placing something. Oh, war speed, I think, right? Yeah, war speed enabled. You need to do that upgrade. You need to heal it, and then it'll just essentially do that. Um, yeah. I've never seen so many Oswins just come in. Now, the Yag, unfortunately, is in a predicament. Um, a lot of AT fire coming in. This American player, I love how he's just been, like, the saving grace as if... I mean, like, he's been doing a really good, I mean, these guys are on the right hand, Whip, and, uh, what's, what's this guy's name, RPG, doing really good, and then just kind of fell apart. <laughs> this American player has at least been holding back two players, while this other guy, what's his name, Dom, I can't get AT to see his life, he keeps running, he keeps hitting these stupid half, I mean, half tracks. Oh my god, the Oss wins. Oh my god. Just annihilating that infantry. Why, why did you have this thing? What is this thing going to do against the Oswins that are currently swarming through the battlefield right now? This looks insane. <laughs> well, it's about time they countered some of those Oswins. And he's now down to three instead of like five. But the Panthers are back here and also a T grenade. If no, they don't have a T grenades. 
Never mind. Pershing coming in for the flank. Doing okay, I guess. Not able to kill it. Looks like the Allies were able to get some nice blows, but yeah, they need to... Oh, wow, they're really back up. They're really moving back up. Oh, my God. They're insta-killing everything. Why is this Yag Tiger moving up? The Great, the Almighty, the Magnificent, the, all, the incredibly... Uh, whatever, I'm done with that. Anyway, what are you doing with your Yag Tiger? What are you doing? You're, are you trying to sacrifice it? The moving it up this close is incredibly stupid. You had, were perfect behind this area, just sniping. Wow. Um, so that just happened. Oh, one more shot. Wow, would the Katusha really kill this thing? Oh my god. SU-85, final shot. King, though, moving up. Kind of going to get revenge. We do have, wow, the Oswins coming from behind for a flank. And then we have some other special coming in, I'm assuming. Railway. Nice flank hitting from a different angle, like that, like it a lot. Um, fi this guy finally getting a tiger. Oh my god, okay. What screwed the Allies right now, what screwed them the most, is the lack of AT in the beginning. And they took the territory, they just couldn't. They just didn't have anything for the mid-game armor rush that occurs. They just had nothing. And I love it how this guy's Oswin spam is literally just the most annoying thing they can fight. Fear, fear the wind. Oh my god. That is, oh that is great. That, that is, that is amazing. Fear the wind. <laughs> that's, that's the tagline for this video. Absolutely. Fear the wind. They will get wrecked in no time. Meta. <laughs> I like how this guy's like saying they will, they I will destroy them, and he has no AT. I mean, like he's barely any AT. A meta? What? What did you say? Learn to spell. <laughs> Oh my god. So, oh my god. Speaking of spelling, please leave a comment if you believe this is right. I think Siri or like the spelling devices are getting dumber because I literally am putting words into my smartphone and they are the, cre the correct pronunciations and how you'd use them in sentences. They're grammatically correct and literally it's just like they're just. The, it's like autocorrecting. It's like, sorry, that word doesn't make sense. Hey. Hey, the f uh, it's like it's like. Hey, do you want to meet at five o'clock? And my phone will change the word to give. And I'm like, wait. Hey, do you want to? It's like, hey, do you want to meet at give o'clock? It's like, what? What? That doesn't make sense. Oh my god. I'm guessing a recon plane. Yep. T a fragmentation bomb could be pretty good over here. Once again, this American player, his ambulance cannot win. Pershing just be annihilated. We have an ISU 152, again, armor piercing rounds, yeah, but unfortunately it's just so slow, we probably can't shoot these, they're blitzing away so they don't get hit. Come on, AT gun. Oh, too bad. Very lucky that shot bounced, or not, will bounce off the ground. Once again, this guy using the power of the wind to just chase these guys down and just annihilate the infantry. Dude, you know they're chasing you, stop moving up the AT gun. At this point, the allies are too sporadic, too just like out there, and don't have a good fighting force. They just don't. Like, whip. You stop getting comets. Get a firefly. That's what you need. A firefly with its tulip rockets would annihilate like these. When they swarm in in a straight line, 
the rockets would annihilate their armor and just neutralize it. Great job, you killed one of them. There's four more. Also, your allies are kind of being pushed back, and they just lost the IC-152, so, you know. I'm calling GG. I'm, I'm, I'm calling it. It's GG. These Oswinds are just annoying and incredibly powerful at the same time. I love, I love his use with the command tank. I really like that because it's just boosting their defense and whatnot. That's really cool. And now they're just swarming in. And please let him burst the comet. Oh, this comet. Oh my god. If he loses this comet to a bunch of Oswinds, I will die. This will be the best tro this will be my the best video I've released in quite some time if this happens. Please let this happen. S sacrifice all of them. Please just sacrifice it. Sacrifice them. Please do it. I don't care. I don't care at this point. Just do it, please. <laughs> I want the power of the wind to annihilate the comets. Oh well, looks like that's not gonna happen. There's too much AT. I would have gone for it just for the troll value of it, but oh my god. Whatever. It looks like the Panzer Shrek group is moving in. We'll probably pretty much annihilate these forces. The great, the magnificent, the almighty, the impeccable, the the absolute himself. Great the pulse sword. It looks like he's knocking out this fuel cache. Uh, American players set up another base, but honestly, at this point, just heal at your own base. Just just go at your own base. Um, he has some infantry units, but not much. He's probably saving up for a Pershing, but. Probably not all that great. I mean, this guy's been annihilated. I feel so bad for him. This His teammate, who is this guy, has got no AT whatsoever. He has enough... I don't even know what he's doing. He keeps getting these stupid quad mounts. He's not even AI, ladies and gentlemen. He's not AI, because otherwise they couldn't do follow camera. So, yeah, I just... I don't... I just don't understand. I don't understand what this guy's deal with. I don't know why he loves this half track so much. It can't. I can't fight a tiger. It can't. It can't. And now it's abandoned. <laughs> really? Really great. Really? That's a little bit overkill. You are annihilating him. He has nothing left. But that's just me. Yeah, um... Eesh. Just trying to think what the allies can do right now. I mean, get, it looks like these two players are forming up in a, a counter. But this guy right here just won't. Wow, really? An SU-76? Man, that's really going to change the game. <sighs> he just won't. Th this guy right here is just terrible. Dom, you're terrible. I'm sorry. You're really bad. You're the weakest link. Here come the Panthers. I had six Oswins. Do you still have six exhaust wings? This penal troop stands no chance. A lot of well minefield, you could have used a minesweeper. Please let this please let this group of boss wings just get by on the comet and kill it. Whip, whip. Let's be honest here. You have a full army. That's great. This guy has a full, decent army. That's great. Your two other IB army, your two other faction armies that on, on like the other side that you fail to help, and you know do anything. Oh my God! Here come the Oswinds. Why are you retreating? Send him in there. There. Oh my God! Please wreck this guy's base. This would. That's what this guy deserves. A bunch of Oswinds just hitting his base, annihilating everything. The 
This guy's a big defensive line here. I really, really want like a Pants Warfare shot right here just to annihilate everything. Or Stuka, that'd be great. Command Panther moving up a little bit too close and yeah, getting annihilated by all the AT. Um, oh, did he get another one? Yeah, he just got another one. He's like, yeah, I got another one. I mean, he just got, I mean, like, he has another Yag, which, whatever, seven and growing, my god. I also like how this guy's not versing the guy with the Oswins, and he's complaining about the guy with the Oswins. They had the Oswins only versed him once. It's like Zuko and Aang from Avatar, The Last Airbender. It's like they keep yelling at each other, and say, like, like they keep, like, saying, like, how they want to fight each other, like, how they're fighting, and they're a great nemesis. And really, if you think about it, they don't fight all that often. They fight, like, twice during the first season? It was on the ship, and then at the, uh, fortune teller? No, not the fortune teller. Um, the, 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 the part where they saw, like, the, the father. They saw after the father. But then they, like, they don't really f have a full fight. They, again. Oh, no, it was with the, the tongue, the, the, the thing that, like, the the tracker but otherwise they don't really fight that much and i think they did it on purpose but it's like you keep yelling at each other and it's like not much is happening oswins get riggedy riggedy wrecked by a combined shot but that being said there's so much armor right now it's not even funny tons of at finally you get at but it's too little too late there's too too much armor yag shot Oh my god, here come the Oswins. Just swarming in. Come on, where's the rest of the armor? You guys are wimps. The Oswins are moving up before you guys are. Wow, that was a nice hit. Um, wow, nice shot with the Panther killing the AT gun. Oh my god, it's literally an ally just slaughtering ground down there. Nice hit. Overall, um, yeah, the alley just lost everything. Once again, whip me, Firefly, just saying. Would have been really helpful. Two Fireflies would have annihilated a lot of those Oswins if you really want to fight it. Or even a lot of these units just scattered about firing long range. The Yag would be a problem, don't get me wrong. And you really don't have anything necessarily to kill it other than this bombing trick which you could use to kill it once you like use an armored car to pin it just saying nice shot but uh yeah it's pretty much gg from here honestly it's uh gg just gonna swarm this thing just annihilate it Ooh, very nice um this thing's pretty much gone there's another push over here with a snipe why would you have a sniper in this goddamn nightmare the king will one shot it nice grenades over here doing a great job you have a push over here with some Volk squads. Um, but, no, I'm calling it GG for the Axis. There's no way the Allies can come back now. Their big epic push over here ended with so many casualties. It, and the heavy tanks are still fine. Everything is still fine. Like, the Oswins, you complain about them, but they're still alive. This guy's so, like, I'm going to murder you. No real AT. This guy's more also dotting, so good for him. He's so focused on like. Wow, nice job. He's probably gonna see some snarky comments saying, "I killed a bunch of Rosswinds. Grow more. <laughs> it will." You do know he just lured you into a trap, right? The king is there. And it's going to annihilate you. <laughs> Like, sure, you want... Congratulations, you killed those Oswins. I'm so happy for you. But the Oswins were the anti-infantry component. You still haven't killed the anti-armor component at all. The Yag is still here, even though you did kill it before, because this guy 
again, the Almighty, the Great, the Stupid, the Pulsar couldn't control it to save his life. But, whatever the case may be, you guys lacked AT, you guys lacked a formative unit, and, like, a, for a formative front, and you could never really... You can never really just do a ton of damage. It, like, why? You keep making these stupid... This guy was your, like, weak point. I like how RPG me is at least, like, saying, good game. Because he did pretty good. I mean, honestly, on his side, he did really good. This British player did really good. But, like I said, I feel like the weakest point of this guy, and that brought it down, that lot, a lot of flanks. That being said, even when, like, they kind of spread out, the Osman guy did press over here, and he did open up a different front. So I will give him that. Also, I love how the Osmans are still alive. And he's like, god dang it. <laughs> Jacksons. Well, it's about time you got a Jackson, you know. It's a, only been forever. It, you know, a Jackson-Pershing combo would have been great. Overall, I enjoy this game. I like the mines in the beginning. I like the Oswind spam in the, the mid. And I like the pretty much armor, like, armored warfare that occurred. Whitney's like, I'm done. I can't lose this. I can't lose to him. I can't. I just can't. But, uh... No, that's a sore loser for you. Um... With 25 points, I'm not even caring. That's an AI. I lost all Oswins, GG. Wait, you did? Oh, I guess you just have them in the front. They just get hit by the AT fire. They do have a lot of AT now, which is kind of helping, but they don't really have the, the anti-infantry component. They don't have a great fighting force. I mean, the American player lost all of his infantry, so you, what what is he supposed to do? Like, he can't really do all that much. He could go explosive rounds and probably do a lot of damage, but... Yeah, not sure why he's not doing that. Anyway, the Oswin's pushing on the right. Once again, just swarming through here, helping out when he can. Comet moving in. They surrender before the... Before it gets down to the last few points. Yeah, but overall, that's uh, pretty good. Pretty good game. Whitney was not the best player. Only Dom had the most kills. I'm actually really surprised about that. I think the Katusha probably is the thing that helped him, I assume. Uh... Now we finally got AT gun late game, whatever. Uh, most damage went to Alberto. Like I said, he was the best player with AT that I could see. Consistently having a f at least an AT front with infantry. His armor engagements weren't necessarily the best, but hey, he tried. He tried. Oh, he tried. Anyway, the uh, great, uh, the almighty, the magnificent, the stupendous, the all-around good guy. Great to Paul Sword. Got 66,000 damage. Really good job. Best player on the team. Uh, most kills, though, went to Smurf, and I, again, oh my god, I've, I have to assume his, um, Obel Sodaten was the reason for that, we shall see. No, his king, his actually king did a lot of damage, huh. No, no, I guess infantry damage was Obel Sodaten, but uh, yeah, whatever, uh, good for him, good for him, I guess, uh, but yeah, that was a pretty good game. I quite enjoyed it. It was definitely better than... Well, it was a lot more interesting than the last one I did on this map. And I still don't like this map. But in any case, that's game. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. No, seriously, oh my god, I'm getting shot and I go to run back to get covered. Someone's just fucking standing there blocking the shit out of me. Great, thanks. You're a real fucking help. And well, I our entire team is going up one way, so it's going to go the other way. So they feel like they're going to pass me. Yeah, I know it's in there. I'm in there. I'm in there. Where are you? Oh, you're outside. Oh my god, there's all of them.